What's up guys? We have another Master Duel video. Today, I have not played, um, probably since I last recorded, so maybe in a week. So we will see, um, what it do. Maybe the meta changed, who knows. Okay, so I guess nothing has seemed to changed. Um, we are currently in Platinum 5 and still need two more wins to go into Platinum Tier 4. So, let's just go ahead and cut the chit chat and go right into our first duel here because I can probably only squeeze in two games, uh, win or lose. So, uh, hopefully we win these two games so I can at least go to Plat 4. I'm not exactly sure when the season's going to end. I think last season was about three weeks, so I'm uh, I'm expecting this season to end in about a week and a half. I think El Shadal Fusion. All right, so it should be uh, invoked slash Shadal. Maybe we'll see how this El Shadal construct. Oh boy, he's already chaining. He's popping off, but he only has three cards in his hand, so we should be relatively good. We'll see. Did he just activate this effect? Oh no, it's a f he activated the flipped effect, I'm guessing. Um, you can send one Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard except Shadal. Squamata. Squamata Shadal, guys. I, I, don't, I don't have respect for Shadal players, mainly because they play with dolls. Action figure! It is getting really hard to be your friend. He still has Invocation in his hand, so... Alright, what you gonna summon? Probably Invoked Mechaba would be my guess. Called it. Guy's pretty scary. It is a once per turn effect though, but... It, what I never noticed from this uh, from this monster is that it banishes the card and negates. That's pretty. That's a pretty strong effect. Is it for, for monster? No, just spell and trap. All right. Okay. All right. It's not that scary. We can probably do something here. I'm guessing we will try to bait that negate with reinforcement of the army. I kind of don't want to use forbidden droplet, but then again, maybe I will. Because I don't need Celestial in my hand. But I can also ditch Celestial with Ferris. How? No. You know what? I think I know how to play around this. I do not need Plasma either. But I could go for a Plasma play early. Let's see. One Chanel monster and one Light monster. Must first be Fusion Summoned. If this card is Special Summoned, you can send one Shadal card from your deck. I think it's best to go for... I think it's it's best to go for the plasma play here, and we're gonna we're gonna just negate that mechaba there. We will try to get um, we'll try to get Stratos in here to continue our plays. Probably has an Ash Blossom. Do not have an Ash Blossom. Awesome. All right. So since I want Stratos, however, I have all re Ferris already in hand. I should be using um, Shadow Mist to search off. Search um, Stratos and then summon Ferris uh, for free, essentially, because I don't necessarily need Shadow Mist in my hand. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I had Max C, which is pretty scary because I need three monsters for Plasma, and that's already that's going to be a special summon itself too. So I can normal summon one monster, which is going to be Stratos in the next turn. Yeah. All right. I do not want to give him too much advantage here. I'm, I'm not exactly sure if negating monster effects will just like cripple... Cripple this guy. That's so unfortunate that he drew Maxi. I, do, I really don't want to give him hand advantage here. I could go for... What I could do instead is... What I could do instead... Yeah, that's scary. What I was planning on doing was kind of smashing over his big targets here and not trying to special summon too much. Yes, I think this will do. All right, so we're going to go with Stratos here. 
And we are going to get a monster, a hero monster. I think we're going to go with... We're going to go with... Um, come on, come on. Alright, we're going to go with... The big guy. We're going to go with Honest Neos. Just for protection. And I might even swing over this guy. Because I for next turn... I'm planning on summoning Plasma. Because I should be able to summon Plasma off Fusion Destiny plus um, Dominance Guy here. Alright, so the Obligatory Disc Commander and then the... I'm going to go Dynatag. Well, obviously I can only go Dynatag and Malicious because that's the only thing in my deck. And we... We're not going to give him any more pluses on this turn. Sorry, guy. You you get those plus two cards. No more. We are going not going to activate Graveyard Effects. We're going to activate this guy. And manipulate, manipulate our deck. Because what we want is... We're going to be drawing a card here, right? And that card is going to be Forbidden Droplet. Because that's going to help us out next turn. And then we're going to get a plus two on our on his end phase because we're going to summon Disc Commander. Off the plus two, I definitely don't want to see... I'm going to be... I'm going to have Vion as a free summon off a fair... A fair is? No, not fair. It's increase. So what I'm thinking is E Emergency Call and Fusion Destiny. And then... Um, and then... And then Ferris. This this should be good. This should be good. Alright, so now let's go ahead and swing over a bit. We're gonna have to use Honest Neos, man. I, I hate using Honest Neos this early, but I don't want uh I don't want him to just pop off a, a free card. Cause both both my dominance guy and my Ferris are special summons, so I kinda don't want him to Big ticket here. And we're going to just swing over this guy. Take that 4300 right there to the face. Woo, let's do it. I know he has a graveyard effect. I forgot what it was because I'm kind of not the greatest player here. But I don't care that much because he will get his effects negated essentially next turn. Because we're gonna we're gonna draw forbidden uh, forbidden droplets off this attack, bam to the face, dude. Sixteen fifty, dude. He's almost gone. Almost we almost got this, dude. And hell yeah, we got forbidden droplet. He does have a lot of advantages. It looks pretty bleak for us because his hand is scary. He has two face down cards, also pretty scary. Which I should have read their effects, but you know, I am, I'm 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 a I'm a man. I don't worry about stuff like that. Alright, what is this guy? You can draw two cards and discard one. Honestly, I, I'm not that worried. I'm more worried of what he's trying to summon with that fusion card that he put back in his hand. Draw draw cards, man. It's okay. You're about... You're almost dead. I have a forbidden droplet for you to be worried about, and then... Plasma should win the game next turn, so let's see. Wendy. This card sends to the graveyard by a card effect. You can special summon a Shadal monster from your deck in face down defense position, except Wendy. And then you can only use one Wendy once per turn. So, what are you gonna what other dolls are you gonna bring for me, dude? I ain't afraid of dolls. Setting up for next turn, okay? So you wanna draw two two more cards on your next turn. Let's let's see if you get a next turn though. He's going to get another Pimp Vocation. Alright, what is he going to do? If this card is sent to the graveyard, flip, you can target one Shadal monster in your graveyard except Shadal Falco. And then put a face down. Okay. I mean, Shadals are interesting to say the least. There is a new card that just came out too in, in uh, Battle of Chaos that kind of does something with flip effect monsters. It's essentially like a Book of Moon and a Lunar moon book or whatever i forgot what they're called in into one so 
Uh, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, he's going, um, Helky, huh? Should I activate the effect now? Because he could go... The thing about Lynx is he can't use face-down cards, and his deck, being a dull deck, uses Flip Effect Monsters. So it's kind of interesting what he's trying to go into. Is there a tuner in the archetype that he's trying to go for? He has a lot of cards in his hand, so he has a lot of potential plays. So if I don't do use Forbidden Droplet here, it could be bad. I'm still here, Konami, don't worry. I don't know if I should be scared or not. I decided to use it. You know what? I don't want him to go into any Link plays. Link plays with, um, with Halki here is pretty scary. It's really easy to go for, like, ac access code or something with Halki. Or even the, the Phantom Link monster that lets you summon a lot of tokens. And then you can just ex increase... Uh, keep going on your plays there. I don't want to... I don't want to mess with that. So, we're going to negate it and see what other cards... Obviously, we know he has Invocation. We know he has Shadal Fusion. Um, I think he still has one more summon. He hasn't normal summoned yet, so... We'll see how it goes. What is that? Chanel Fusion. So what was the Fusion card he had be, uh, previously? I'm kind of curious. So I thought it was Chanel Fusion, but maybe it wasn't. Okay, so I, I, apparently there's an L Chanel Fusion and a Chanel Fusion. Konami, what the hell are you doing? Alright. So he summoned another construct, which is not that bad. We should be able to use um, Dominus's effect still because it will be destroyed. It doesn't have to be by battle, is what I'm saying. I'm not, or at least I'm not. Uh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure I'm correct, but I'm kind of reading it here by battle or card effect. Destroyed by battle or card effect. So we should be safe here, even if he tries to swing and destroy with constructs effect here all right so he sends schism to the grave that's pretty interesting he's not doing anything out of the ordinary here i wonder if he thinks he can otk here which he he might be able to if he can swing over everything dominance will give you three bodies and then uh, increase will give me two on my turn. So I guess technically increase could give me two bodies uh, before he enters the, the battle phase. So if push comes to shove, we have that. He's, he's summoning some uh, fish dude here. You can target one for something card in the field, negate its effects. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. So I wonder if him negating his Dominance's effect will be... Wait, hang on. Why are you targeting him? Whoa. No, ain't nobody messing with Increase here. Why is he being targeted? If this card sends to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one spell trap card and destroy it. He definitely wants to go after my Lucky Charms here, so what we are going to do is um, say no, silly rabbit. Tricks are for hero players, not doll players. Actually, I'm kind of curious now. Will it get still get destroyed? It might, but it's no longer a spell or trap, right? But if you target the card... Okay, wow, that worked. And yes, I'll get another body here. I unfortunately cannot use the secondary effect of Vion, but at least, again, I'll get a body. Oh, okay, fair play. But maybe he should have saved that for next turn. All right, moment of truth. Will Dominance's guy affect being negated by this weird fish doll looking thing matter? We will see next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, well... Definitely won't work now. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So it's a a doll monster. Man, you know, I don't mind losing, but having a hero be fused into a doll, that's just emasculating.
we are going to summon increase. Maybe I actually kind of forgot if we went for E emergency teleport or the other spell on our next draw. So we will see. But it does seem like we kind of stopped something with Halky. He was thinking for quite a while. So I, I'm kind of curious what he was trying to do with Halky here. And wow, that was an OTK. What? Fair play. Although, again, the worst thing is that heroes were fused into dolls. I ain't gonna lie. That is pretty emasculating there. Alright, part two here. We are going to... Hopefully, ha this is going to be faster, man. That doll guy was really creepy playing with dolls for that long. Just, like, kind of touching them in inappropriate places. And his turns took to so long because he was just touching them. And I was I was violated, dude. I, I felt violated just being in a duel with that guy. We drew evenly matched. So I kind of want to play versus an outlink player. Um, because evenly matched is... A pretty good counter against Outlick. Okay, set two and pass. I am kind of worried about it. And since we drew Max C. Alright, so we, we, we're doing it, boys. We're doing it, boys. And I almost screwed up, boys. Don't, don't worry about it, boys. We're going into battle phase, boys. We're going to end battle phase, boys. And then we're going to activate the card, boys. And then we are going to make him rage quit, boys. And, uh... Yeah, boys... <laughs> Let's see. Cause I want I want Liquid Boy. And what what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna summon uh I'm just gonna summon one guy here. Sunriser. I should have protection. Infinite impermanence. Really? All right, that's fine. I I have uh, I have protection with uh, Honest Neo, so really I technically have a thirty five hundred beater on the field, and if he tries to get froggy with me, I have Max C, so he can't really do too much on the summoning on his end as well. So I kind of I'm kind of curious what he. Remove from play as well. The Lair of Darkness. All right, let's see. Now we're gonna see what kind of deck he has. All right, it's Thunder Dark, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon deck. Uh, oh, that's a good question. Should I activate Maxi? This card is banished since the, you can add one Thunder Dragon from your deck to your hand. Except, uh, okay, so I don't want him to 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 get too froggy with me. So I'll activate it now, and. Like I said, I essentially have a 3,500 beater on the field right now with uh, Vion and then with Honest Neos boost. So I'm not too afraid. He could try to to big dick it here and just if he thinks he can OTK, he'll obviously keep summoning monsters even with Maxi in play. So we'll see what this guy chooses to do. All right, so. Seems like Aloof Lupine is like the honorary Thunder Dragon. Funny thing about this guy too, the first time I saw his name, I thought it said Adolf. And I was like, that's uh It's a little edgy for Konami. Plus one here. Destiny draw is a pretty dead draw. But at least we didn't draw it on our next turn, because that would have been pretty bad, honestly. We're gonna not activate Honest Neos now. We want him to feel confident. We want him to summon something i i really i'm bad at remembering first of all names i i suck at remembering names um really funny story here i actually went on a date with this one chick once and i forgot her name so i was just kind of like avoiding calling her by her name essentially and then i did call her by the wrong name and she was like well it's actually not this it's that and oh boy i i felt kind of bad but I mean, we uh, we didn't last long, so who the fuck cares at this point? Uh, so yeah, definitely names don't don't really I'm not good with, and I, uh, like decks that I don't play I definitely have a hard time. I know he has Colossus, and isn't Colossus banned for some reason? Oh, actually, you know what? That was a pretty good draw too with Dynatag, because 
we almost most definitely cannot be OTK'd at this point. With Predator Plant, um, he can summon his Thunder Dragons for free. I mean, at a 2,000 life point cost, of course, but he doesn't need the Fusion card in his hand. And he has, we know, one Thunder Dragon in his hand, but it's the old school Thunder Dragon, so it's kind of not as use useful. Is that a Thunder Titan Dragon? I think he just destroys cards. Am I correct on this? Must be either... When a Thunder Monster's effect is activated, destroy one card. Destroy one card on the field. Yep, yep, yep. So, unfortunately, Honest Neos cannot save us this time around. But Dynatech will certainly will. It just... It just... I guess it depends on what he has left in his hand. I'm assuming he he has I'm assuming he has another fusion card. It, it, it looks like he's really he's not going to OTK here. He's not going to try to OTK here. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to dine tag. I kind of don't want to give him an inch here. And that's why I had to do it to dine tag. I had to do dine tag dirty so he wouldn't do me dirty. Alright, Mask Change. This is uh, pretty interesting here, because we we have a dead card here. I guess we can use D-Force, or D-Force to get Destiny Hero Plasma. And, you know, I kind of want to use Plasma here, because I can negate, or uh, suck up that Thunder Dragon. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to... Oh god, he has Ash Blossom, doesn't he? He has Ash Blossom. Or Max C. Is he gonna... No, Max, uh, Ash Blossom. Alright, alright. That's unfortunate here, because... I really wanted something in my graveyard. I could still go... I can still extend here. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? We are gonna do something here. We're gonna banish Valion, Yusin Valion. And then we're gonna get Polly. We're still gonna try to go for Destiny Hero Plasma here. Hopefully, with the plus two that we're gonna get with Liquid Boy here, we draw a good card. Oh boy, this this is Do I wanna give get rid of Vion? It's a body, and I do want bodies for plasma. This might be a bad choice, but we, we gotta do it, boys. Alright, so now we're gonna so select, obviously, Liquid Boy, you, you gotta activate first. If you you have, uh, if you're combining it with with Sunrise here, you need Liquid Boy's, Liquid Boy's effect to pop off first, or I mean second, because Miracle Fusion can be drawn with the plus two that you get from Liquid Soldier. So, uh, that draw was not that good. Actually, you know what? I think we can win here. We can definitely try to win here. I have Forbidden Droplet. That guy cannot use his effect. So essentially, when he gets destroyed, he will get destroyed. And we still have D Force. So we're gonna we're gonna activate it. We're gonna have to activate it. it probably would have been better to activate it um, before the plus two as well, because we had a potential of drawing plasma in a uh, in a draw two from Liquid Boy, which wouldn't have been good. Uh, we already normal summoned. We do have Miracle Fusion. And what we can use Miracle Fusion for is Absoluto Zero. I think we win here, boys. Because we have max Mask Change, and then we have Honest Neos to boost up his attack. He has only 5,000 life points left. I think... I think that's what we're going to do here. We're, we're going to just be safe. We don't need Plasma at this point. So we're going to just do the plus two. It doesn't hurt. And uh, hopefully it's something good here. We need something juicy. We got nothing juicy. <laughs> we should have gotten Malicious uh, instead of uh, the other Vion, honestly. for You always want to ditch Malicious using Destiny Draw. Either Malicious or Celestial. 
Uh, let's see here. We can still do something, though. We can continue our plays, because I can use Forbidden Droplet here. And then I'm gonna... I'm gonna get rid of my boy. Honestly, it's probably a girl. Shadow Mist. And then we're gonna negate this guy's effect. So now, with Shadow Mist, we're gonna get Ferris. With Ferris, we're gonna uh, ditch Malicious. And then with Malicious, we can kind of keep going on with our plays. Again, we probably won, but I want to be more safe than sorry. So... Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go this route. Okay, I definitely cannot activate uh, Fer Ferris's effect. I only have one increase in my deck because I think it's Bricky the other way, and I really don't. I, you don't need more than more than one. I feel, but what do I know? I'm kind of not the. I'm not the greatest player, so yeah, I think we won here. So let's do it. Okay, so with with uh, malicious. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go with, uh, with this guy first. And sure, we'll just activate it. Again, you usually want to activate it in the battle step, but I don't think he has any card that will that can be activated in the battle step. So, bam, dude. All right, and then we're gonna just. Uh, yeah, I guess we won't even activate Sunrise's effect. We'll just we'll just take the plant out out right here. And you know that's just how you do it. At least this guy wasn't playing with dolls. I I respect the guy that plays that, that likes dragons over a guy who plays with dolls. Action figure! And you know what? Unfortunately that's gonna be the video. I do only have time for these two duels. It sucks. I wish I had more time to play. But that's just the way it is. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.